welcome. I'm excited to be here. When Mary Lou called me and said, hey, would you like to come down and talk about how you feel about Walmart? I said, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Because we need to have a conversation about Walmart. And here's the bottom line. Walmart is forcing Georgia's taxpayers to pay their bills in order for them to operate. They pay their employees such a low hourly wage that employees are forced to rely on public aid in order to afford the basic necessities to live. So we're talking about food stamps for food. We're talking about a place to live in the way of public housing and subsidies for that. We're talking about health care needs in the way of Medicare. And it's not f Medicaid, I'm sorry. It's not fair. It's not fair for workers, and it's not fair even more for taxpayers. And so Walmart, oh, Walmart's got a sweet deal. They come in, set up, pay people as low as they can possibly pay them, and then send the re and collect profits, and then send the rest of the bill to taxpayers. That is what we call corporate welfare. So for my friends across the aisle who are always talking about the amount of money that we spend on public aid, why don't you come and help me collect this money, the taxpayers' money, that we're spending on corporate welfare? That's what we need to do. That's where we need to start. Because I got news for you. These workers that are working don't want to take public aid. They have to take public aid because their employers won't pay them a living wage. And by a living wage, we mean a wage that people can afford to live without public assistance. So let's talk about what we're paying for. Um, right now, taxpayers on are paying taxpayers. Walmart is costing taxpayers about six point two billion dollars a year. Six point two billion. Let that sink in. In Georgia, I'm going to tell you what's included in that six point two billion nationally. What's included for us? the money that we need for infrastructure projects. It's the money that we need for education. Yeah. It's the money that we need to uh, help our struggling hospitals. Yeah. Right now, we've got bridges that are collapsing, roads that are buckling. Everybody is aware of the infrastructure issues that we are having in Georgia. When we talk about education, we always talk about we need to fully fund public education. Well, we're always told we don't have the money to fully fund public education. Mm -hmm. We currently have 15 hospitals that are on the brink of going out of business because of financial difficulties. And we're constantly told, we don't have the money to expand Medicaid. We don't have the money to help these hospitals. Well, I'll tell you what we don't have the money for, and it's to pay Walmart's bills. That's what we don't have the money for. That's not what taxpayers want their dollars to go for. And every year in the legislature, it's my first year, but I know that this is the process, we talk about the budget. And I don't know about you, Senator Parent, but I don't remember in those budget talks ever hearing anything about a, a shareholder's check coming back to the state from Walmart. You remember that? I hadn't heard of it yet, Representative. OK, did I miss the meeting? You remember? No. OK. So it's not fair. It is not fair that they are making profits on the backs of workers and taxpayers. So think about that, everybody. Every time you drive past a Walmart supercenter, that is $1.74 million in taxpayer money that it's costing us. $1.74 million. That's outrageous. And to top it all off, Walmart steals from its workers. Yeah. I'm not making this up. Walmart steals from its workers. We just saw that Walmart in Pennsylvania got sued for wage theft. Wage theft is where employees work, but they are not paid for the wages that they've actually earned. And so we saw in Pennsylvania that between the years of 1994 and 2006, Walmart was guilty of wage theft. So that's $240 million they had to pay because they were stealing wages from employees. That's just crazy. So I say this to my colleagues who love to run with the slogan of, hey, vote for me because I'm fiscally conservative. That's fantastic. Then you should join with me in saying that we need to raise the minimum wage to a living wage because you need to help me come and get taxpayers' money. Yeah. 